come and keep dressing it with that mustard stuff. Hey y'all, it's Diana again in broad daylight. Well, you're catching me again today in Jackson. I, I had to bring Miss Jean over here to get her results from her MRI that I brought her over here last week to get. So that's what we're doing today. And um, you can see I have my leopard skin to match my uh, mask that Naya sent me. She's not the only one with animal print prowling around. <laughs> Thank you so much, girl. I really appreciate that and that lovely fragrant sachet from my unmentionable drawer. It'd be good if I had somebody to smell it. <laughs> yeah. I've not had a a, a real good time with this uh, dating thing. You know, I've kind of come to the conclusion that I, I'm just too hard to please, you know. But the thing is that I took care of my mother for 12 years. And then I basically took care of a deadbeat husband for 18 years. So that's a total of 30 years. And I don't think at this point in my life that I won't to take on a man that I'm gonna have to take care of. You know, most of these men, when you get to be my age group, you know, a lot of them have medical problems and that's fine if you have fallen in love with somebody and, and, and then something like that happens. But most of these guys that talk to me, they already have medical problems. And I have just done too much of that through the years, taking care of people. I, I just don't, I just want to take care of me. You know, that's just what I want to do. Uh, when my father died, my mother wasn't much older than I am right now, and she never had another man, never dated another man. Uh, and if she had, I'd have had to wind up taking care of too. So I'm thankful she didn't, but she would have liked to, just like I would like to but it's just something I think that I'm just gonna talk about the rest of my life and not actually do. You know, if I could find somebody that it would just, you know, date and not get too involved uh, because I just don't want to be a nursemaid. I'm sorry. That might sound, you know, selfish on my part, but I feel like I've done my part, you know? I'd like to have friends, companions, people I can hang out with, but I just don't want to be responsible for anybody. Just like I imagine there's a lot of men out there that would not want to have to be responsible for me. So I'm hoping for the next few years I can take care of myself and uh, be happy being that way. And because I love my home and I love everything the way it is now. I just, I don't know what I'll do when, you know, I lose anybody else in my family. It's just not easy for me. It's hard for me to carry on when something happens and major changes in my life. So we'll see what happens with that. But I have had some depression and haven't been able to do very many videos lately. I have not been able to do any of the woman once removed, even though I have taken notes. I've even had to the point where I had myself ready. I had my face and my wig and my clothes and I just could not get myself motivated to actually do the video. So. I'm hoping soon, because I've got a lot of requests. Uh, Naya and Adelaide have uh, requested uh, some uh, subject matter in, in my videos, and, and I plan to do those. Um, and I have some other things, talking about some old friends that are still living, that I still have in my life. And I do want to make some videos. It's just getting myself motivated to do it. So, hope everybody's having a good day. 
and uh, I'll talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.